What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we are going to be doing one of my favorite series that I've been doing on this channel, which is called Streetwear Brands You Should Know About. This one is gonna be winter related only because of what we're going through right now, which is literally just winter climate change. It's going from sunny to brick immediately. It's not fun. But uh, going through this video, you guys are gonna see some pieces that have, I've been incorporating in terms of like adapting to colder climates, layering, vests, athleisure, just a lot of pieces in that regard. And then also a whole bunch of brand new brands that I feel like you guys should definitely know about. And then also some reoccurring ones. All of these are brands that I feel like you guys should definitely know about, or at least have an opportunity to check out. So everything will be linked down in the description box below for you guys to go and enjoy. I love putting on new brands it's something that i always love to do on this channel it really just like broadens everyone's horizon to like what is out there what people are creating in modern day there's so many young talented brands designers creatives out there so this video is to highlight all of them and i love to crack into a whole bunch of different brands for you guys so all that intro out the way we're gonna get into the first one before we get into all of that of course make sure to go follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there as well as the rest of my social media platforms will be listed in the description box below as well like the video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new we're gonna get straight into the first brand so the first brand is science project i've worked with them plenty of times before and they just recently released their new collection and this has by far been the most elevated or growth i've seen with them like they just keep on getting better and better and seasoned over time so i'm gonna crack into some of the pieces first one right here is this insulated vest this one is super super Super, super fire. This I could see a lot of people wearing during like fashion week. It's just kind of like a statement in itself. Something you could definitely use in the winter time. Love the hue of it as well. Got this like gunmetal gray of sorts. And it's just really cool. Good cut, very boxy. You just slip it over your attire and then just easily like elevates a fit. Something that's very simple, but could make your fit a lot more daring for sure. So science project gray vest super hard you guys are gonna see why this is my favorite season that they've done so far it just keeps on getting better this leather set you guys know i'm a sucker for leather and then this is this leather jacket right here got this on a hanger now so i could better showcase it to you guys but this is the leather jacket super super dope love the finish that they did on it, it kind of makes it look like pre-worn or pre-vintage and you guys already know i love my vintage items and this is like brand new vintage inside quilted interior good inside pocket as well that's something that's necessary i always love a good inside pocket kind of just like keep your wallet your keys whatever you want in there it's just a very mature piece could easily like just grow your closet into like that new generation of streetwear i find it's like very less logo oriented but like a lot more sophisticated so that's definitely what this box checks off for me and don't get me started there's a whole set there's a second piece that goes with this which is the leather pants you guys know i really rock with leather pants this is no short from this is no different a leather pant will always be such a crazy item because it always stands out no matter what when you pair a leather pant with an outfit it's just a break of texture from like your typical textile because it's not a textile it's literally like a skin so like this against like already a hoodie like this is like completely different it's like night and day even though they're both black it's just it really really does stand out um so i would i love playing with leather pieces especially leather bottoms so you guys could definitely check out science science projects new leather line very reasonably priced in terms of leather pieces a lot of people try to go over the top when it turns when it comes to like pricing their leather but with this one i feel like it's very fair i and i actually ended up sizing up one because i like my leather bottoms to be a bit more oversized than baggy so if you guys are trying to do something like that i suggest doing that for sure because you can always belt it but yeah just like a little note for you guys in case you were interested but look at that texture of the leather super sick really really dope also pre-worn in not like just a straight jet black very very interesting next piece is Next piece is these gray cargos. These are super hard. Love how like tactical they are. Very futuristic, very like spacey. Also like the grays that they selected for this collection just because um, they're still earthy, but like, like it's hard to describe. Like this is like a gray, but it's like almost like a slate bluish gray. So it stands out, but at the same time, you're able to like pair it with a lot of different things. And it's very wearable because it's more on the tones rather than a color. So yeah, really, really like this hue of gray that they chose. You could belt it up with these cords right here and then make sure that they fit also properly. I also sized up with this just because I 
like baggier bottoms these days. You guys already know that. So definitely one of the items that I really, really enjoyed from this collection as well. So if you guys are looking for a cargo pant or any of those like, like a modern alternative to those shell pants or anything like that, this is very similar to that type of breath. So definitely go check out the Science Project gray cargo pants. So these next two ones is kind of like their mainstays in the collection. These like boxy uh, collared shirts that they do. Always, always get so many compliments on the flannels that I wear from them. But this is like a striped shirt iteration that they did. Really great hue and selection on the textile that they did once again. It kind of looks like pajama-esque, but a lot more elevated. I could see people doing kind of like a LA, like posh fit with this. Uh, looks like you're like, uh, you just woke up out of bed, but also you look like you got your shit together at the same time. You probably like own like some type of car dealership or something, Arthur Cars, Arthur Car vibes with this one for sure. So really, really cool. I like this one. And then this next one, speaking of what I was just saying before, the cropped flannel shirts, always, always a main stand collection always get so many compliments on this and when people ask me where they could get flannel shirts i always direct them to them because they have the best fit in my personal opinion like perfect crop in the body really really long sleeves this is just a great wearable color as well it's just like black and white can't go wrong at all you guys i have one of them normally on my rack right here but i believe i put it aside for a styling pull that i was supposed to be doing so it's not here unfortunately but i got this new one for you guys to check out anyway so definitely go check them out science project is a beauty of a brand definitely one of my favorite new emerging brands that I've been seeing so go check them out if you haven't already also they were really kind enough to send me an excess of product uh, for that whatnot live that I'm gonna be doing on Friday so all the details would be on the screen for you guys if it hasn't happened already by the time I put up this video but if I get a chance to put it up before all the information will be on the screen and they were actually kind enough to send me excess product from science project so you guys if you guys want an opportunity to get stuff starting at a dollar from the same brand that's a perfect opportunity to do so so definitely make sure to go participate in that that live all the links all the information will be on the screen like i said before and in the link in the description box below so go check that out great opportunity to get some steals and deals one dollar arms that's crazy so just wanted to give another friendly reminder to let you guys know that science project and myself have a lot more the pipeline so stay posted stay tuned we got a whole lot of special things coming your way so uh really excited to just show you guys that and some good stuff go see Thank you to Science Project. We're gonna move on to the next brand. The, this is probably the largest array or range of clothing that I've done for these like streetwear brands you should know about videos because I don't know what happened in the past month and a bit where I've been stacking up the clothing for this video, but there's been a lot, a lot of like PR and like just homies brands that have been like ready to launch for their winter collections. So there's been a, a big buildup, but probably gonna be one of the best ones that I've done so far. You guys let me know in the comments below of like if this, if this one has been been your favorite in this series because I think this might be the the largest one so far so you guys let me know but this one is very true to the to the heart for me because it's like a part of like the the homies brands like a lot of my people from like high school that I hang out with this is like the conglomerate that kind of like hovers around the overarching brand so this is grimy they're kind of like a music collective meets streetwear brand fused together really really cool direction for the brand I've just like seen them grow from like earlier on all the way up until now and this is their first take on a cut and sew product they kind of like have grown from like the, tr the true streetwear origins which is like just just like the common like blanks and then like they've grown to now doing product like this which is like all cut and sewn french terry interior just like really really good weight to the garment good cut as well it's just like an oversized hoodie perfected embroidery on the grimy detailing right here just like a really really sick sick piece made in canada Canada. You really can't go wrong with something like this. You guys, when you hold it in, in hand, you'll understand exactly everything that I'm saying, but super happy with the way that this came out. And I'm sure like everyone on the team is just, just as happy and thrilled with the way these products are coming out. There's only so much room for like, for like growth and direction from here with getting into cut and sew items. So like, I'm really stoked for Thomas and everyone over at, at Grimy. So this is going to be a really, really huge step for, for the brand. So I'm excited for them to grow. And they also have a full suit. So this is the sweat pant that they did as well same embroidery just smaller and on the thigh a uh, good low like little elasticated waistband i go the largest size for sweatpants because i love them to be baggy but yeah really really enjoyed these great 
track suit can't go wrong. You guys will see this is one of two all black track suits. You guys know. You guys know I've been getting into training, so like wearing these track suits like to and from the gym is just like such a vibe. I love doing that. You feel consistent and you feel good in what you're wearing. Obviously, I don't work out in those, but the commute there and back from the gym, love doing a good track suit. So the grimy track suit has been a mainstay alongside the other one I'm gonna be showing to you guys later in this video. But shout out to Thomas and the team over at Grammy for sending that over. A uh, beautiful take at a cut and sew piece made in Canada. Can't do anything but support something like that. It's gonna be so, so sick. And I hope you guys get a chance to check that out too. On to the next one. So these two pieces are from Bun Nui, which is a great brand. Unknown vlogs on YouTube. He started his own brand and he was kind enough to send me some pieces from his collection. Most recent one, Bun Nui is the brand. So we're gonna crack into this first piece right here. Sorry, I'm being a little aggressive. I'm just excited to see how this turned out. So this is like this ribbed muscle tee. I gotta get the gains for this one, but this one is super sick. I love the motif on the screen print. It's very like dark, but also on such a light piece. So like kind of gives you that duality, which I really enjoy. Very boxy, love the rib knit that he chose on this one. Great quality. And you can see the Bun Nui branding right there. Super tough, really, really enjoyed this one. Yeah, this is cool. This is gonna be cool. I feel like even layering it up with like, you could do long sleeve under, tank on top, and then like maybe like a light shirt over it or like a shacket that could be really really cool something like this so something interesting to play around with in terms of styling and then this one has been the piece i've been most excited by because i feel like it represents his personal brand and his actual brand quite well just because he DJs and I feel like incorporating the things that you personally enjoy out of like your practice and like fusing that into like your creative practice is, is such a cool thing. So like techno is a part of the music that he plays when he DJs and everything like that. And I think doing like a denim pant like this is so fire. Like it reminds me a lot of like the vet ma pants that have been done, but like obviously this is his own take and the like screen print is like super well done. Everything is just fire like super super fire can't wait to bust these out these are gonna be insane like i'm really really excited to wear these ones and look the back i just noticed this the back like makes an end for like nui which is really really sick but nui is good night by the way if you guys didn't know that yeah your boy knows a little bit of french but yeah these are super sick love the wash they're kind of like a true american wash but with the techno on the on the front piece so yeah good little back hit right there love Love how like high quality the uh, like leather patches, you could tell. Good sheen, just like very sturdy. So yeah. Where are these made? I'm curious. What does he even say, right? I don't know. I don't have no idea where these are made, but I like, I feel like they're just such a great quality denim. I was, I was like impressed. Good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Shout out to Icy. I'm really ecstatic with how these denims came out. Can't wait to wear these more in like the spring, summer, just because in the fall, winter, it's a bit difficult wearing lighter colors like this, especially with like the salt, the snow, all of that that I have to face as a Canadian. It sucks, but I'm really, really excited to like wear these. Maybe if I'm in like a hard, hotter climate, if I travel or something, or when spring, summer comes around. So excited to try, try these out. Huge shout out to Icy and Bun Nui overall. Can't wait to see what they grow into in the future. On to the next brand. Alrighty, so we're still going strong. Next brand. This is so crazy how everyone's just elevating their craft like to such a high degree. Cause like where Keezy started with the brand versus like where he's at now with all of this. Like the way that I got this packaging in and and I was just like blown away by like all like the bells and whistles. I was like. It's like some designer, designer shit right here. Like, look at this. Haven court, garment bag. Are you kidding me? Look at look at how the boys are doing it right now. That's crazy. Look at this. So Haven Court Keezy was kind enough to send me the new coach jacket. And what was even crazier with like the rollout of uh like all this packaging, I guess. It was like now there's kind of like accessories and stuff that he's throwing in with the clothing. Like <laughs> he sent me like a scale and like baggies, which is really, really funny. Like like, I was just like, bro, imagine what Customs thinks of me getting this package through. Like, they're probably like, hmm, a little suspect, but I found it really, really entertaining. It's very on brand for like the Bay Area, I'm sure. Like, that's just like true 
environmental type of referencing so i really like this one as well this is the coach jacket it's like made in a full polyester but a really high quality one at that uh, kind of mimics a nylon at sometimes great cut super boxy just can't wait to wear this in like in the transitional seasons which would be like fall or spring right now it'd be a little bit too light for me to wear something like this unless i'm like in a different type of climate but i love the way that this came out the weight of it is super great love the hanger as well like i said makes it very designer taggings right there too kind of see that and then you got the little zipper right here haven court zipper and then the inside lining is kind of like a little picnic blanket picnic blanket type of vibe and yeah inside pocket again can't go wrong with the inside pocket you guys know i love that more pockets the better very convenient and yeah just a good classic jacket can't go wrong with something like this you just get a lot a lot of wear over and over again so great mainstay piece to last in your collection if you're interested in a piece like this go check out haven court hopefully he has a few left by the time i have this video up but yeah shout out to keezy really appreciate you next one keeping it going as usual this is by bleeding indigo so i found out about this brand i want to say through ray ray jimia you guys know him of red already he was in the new york vlog and also another og but uh yeah they were just really kind to send this over they they were just telling me about the pants but they are actually nice enough to send in another crew neck in addition so this is all the information for you guys to go check them out they sent a little thank you card it says bleeding indigo to instagram all of that and then bleeding indigo that's what it looks like great texture on the card too wow i like that good touch then we're gonna get into the gift before we get into the main piece that they were supposed to send over so all of them all their pieces like very like much represent or reference like true vintage american garments so like, like double double triangle crew necks like double v's basically uh very like much like a 50s or like between the 50s and the 30s i want to say my vintage is slipping away from me but all those all the vintage warriors are gonna beat me up for that but just really references like the old way that crewnecks were made but also keeps it very contemporary with like how everyone enjoys like their oversized yet cropped fits to things and then also this looks like like a pre-worn screen printing so just kind of has like that perfect balance between like contemporary style and vintage style but i'm really excited to wear this this is like something i know i would wear over and over again one piece that i have a million of in my wardrobe is like a gray crew neck i find it such like a mainstay in 90s fashion and other things of that nature and it just is so timeless i hope for the time for me to like just be happy with wearing just a crew neck and jeans and, and not really be so heavily invested into fashion but uh i know that i'll be down the line not so much right right now but yeah this is a cool thing that i just noticed right here the little peace sign on the sleeve and then also has like this paint distressing along the sleeves that you don't really notice at first but they're there so it's really sick like these like minor little details are really really dope and it's all over actually but that's sick that's really, really fire. Kind of see it here a bit more. It's hard to see the white on the gray, but it's a nice like m like hidden detail. And here's the sign. I mean, the tag it reminds you of vintage as well. Super sick, good weave on the French Terry. All right, you guys. So we're continuing on to the next brand. This was actually given to me when I was at the Bowery showroom event that I did with Whatnot in collaboration with them. And like a supporter of the channel came up and like they said that this was their brand or a brand that they like represented in a way. Way. Uh, it's called Pas de Reg, and I was just like really blown away by like how sick the design was and but yeah it's so very simple so like there's this like front almost just like this front flap kind of mimics like a skirt in a way because you don't really see the division of the legs but then it's just like a flap in front and then it's a regular pair of pants kind of gives you like MC Hammer vibes if you see it on surface level but what I really enjoyed was the leg opening and then also the color it's like all brown and I know it's kind of intimidating at first First, but if you guys see these styled in a certain way, it could really be, I think, elevated to a whole other caliber. I just saw them and I just knew right away that these could look super, super fire with how wide they are and the, the brown and just also this like front compartment. It's just really, really unique. Yeah, in general, I just really, really enjoyed them. So shout out to Pareg. This is something that by coincidence, it ended up in my hands and I was just blown away by the design. I was talking to everyone that was around just like supporting the event, like how blown away 
guy was by the design of these and the, 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 the person that gave them to me was kind of like shy. So they just like gave it to me and they just like kind of fizzled off into the distance. I didn't know where they went, but if they're watching this now, really enjoy the gift. Thank you so much. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of styling opportunities with these. And even with some of my clients, I'm sure they're really, they will really enjoy wearing these as well, just because of how unique they are. So check them out next piece is by o files they actually sent me two iterations of these pants but one of them was too small for some reason so meg stole them well actually i gave them to her just because i didn't really have any purpose for them with the size that they were but with these these definitely do fit me so i'm getting plenty of wear out of these ones right here these are from o files so shout out to o files and the whole team over there i really appreciate oscar so yeah really really love these pants they kind of like give you heavy military vibes 3d pockets it's very like utilitarian baggy good leg opening you guys know how i am right now with the baggy pants they just like are my vibe and especially in the winter you could wear kind of like darker tones like this that are more utilitarian and just like a function forward because it's just it, it makes more sense to wear this in the winter it's kind of like you versus the climates at a certain point, but at least you'll be able to be a bit styly at the same time. So these cargo pants have been it for me for sure. Love the like charcoal washed out effect on the whole piece. So yeah, definitely go check them out. I don't know if these are still available, but um, o Files always has a great selection of stuff whenever they do collections. And the most recent collection has definitely been one of my favorite ones so far. So definitely go check them out if you are interested in this style, in this style of clothing. Alrighty, so continuing on with the the next brand this is going to be a pack from Maison Cotterie so shout out to Maison Cotterie I've always been supporting Maison Cotterie and Egal it's a joint partnership with him and his brother and yeah just a really great brand I love how they've been able to elevate every collection which is a common theme across all of these brands you just keep on getting better and better every time every time they drop new clothes and they kind of like took a backseat for a little bit reevaluated the brand and then now they came out with this collection was very much much the most forward they've been. A lot of contemporary silhouettes and, and pieces in this collection. So one of them I was really excited for that I couldn't wait to like, just like uh, show you guys rawly. It was just like this item right here cause I wanted to use it for um, a photo I had in mind. So this is me cheating a little bit, but I was just as excited then as I am now to talk about it with you guys. These are these like take on that classic military shell pen that I always have been talking about on this channel. I made a video about it so if you guys want to check that out it'll be on a card on one of these corners here um but this is a modern take on it this is something that you could just go into online store and buy yourself not have to be in london or like buy them vintage um, because they just sell out so so fast but this is a way that you could get them but with a different take a bit more contemporary uh really enjoy these white pants i don't have too many of but like this baggy take on one it's like ivory cream is really really sick cool detailing maison cutlery right there got these in a 30 i believe i could have went up one size just because they are oversized yeah but i could have gone for a 32 but these still work on me even though i am a 32 so keep that in mind very versatile around the side in the size range because you could tie them up on the waist yet they're still oversized so definitely check these out and i'll get into the other pieces that they got up in here let's see what they got there. so there's a little keychain sticker receipt another sticker card oh look at this we got this little message right here. Boom. You guys can read that if you want to read it. Much love. Hope you enjoy the garments, bro. Keep thriving, Egal. Shout out to Egal. Really appreciate you. And yeah, this is a little story about the brothers and all that. And then this is the next piece. So here we go. This is the white jacket I'm going to get into. And then we have the black iteration of the pants I was talking about and the actual size that I was going to order. So. We'll get into both of those and you guys will kind of be able to see how the difference of fit is amongst them. One I got in the 30, one I got in the 34. So you guys can kind of have your base assessment of that. So this is this utility jacket in this ivory cream. Really, really sick. Love how I got this in a medium because it's just going to like 
play on proportions, have like a tighter upper, like as I always say, I feel like it's a lot more flattering, breaks up the top half of your outfit and then just have like a really wide bottom, could be really, really sick. This is a cool twill that this is made out of, so I'm excited to style this one for sure. You guys will see how it looks like on camera when I do the try on clips, but yeah, great piece overall. Well, not doing that justice right there. Great piece overall. Can't wait to try it on for you guys. And the next one right here is the black iteration of those pants. This one's in a size 34 this time, so I'll be able to really get my baggy, baggy pants on. So this is another just great mainstay black pant, wider in the cut that you could just get a whole lot of wears of, especially in fall winter. So it has that great leg opening where you can also tie it at the bottom to get that cinch action. Um, but yeah, just a great contemporary take on those ever so popular um, shell, pant shell pants. So yeah, definitely go check them out if you guys were looking for a brand that makes them brand new instead of looking for a vintage option from like a phase by fin, etc. This is just gives you the option to get them brand new if you wanted that. So yeah. <laughs> Almost done, you guys. This is the, the, the last hurrah. This is the final brand, but definitely an exciting one to showcase to you guys. All of these are heat. I hope you guys are bearing with me. There's a lot of drip to go through, but very exciting video nonetheless. Let's get into this next one. All right, you guys, we're here with the final brand. Let's get straight into it. This, this is all pieces by the lovely people over at St. Woods. I really appreciate them always looking out for me. One of the most renowned brands in the city of Montreal, I would like to, I would like to say. Just great product overall, great community as well well that backs it so yeah just gonna get into a whole bunch of pieces that they sent my way this is from the collection before the most recent one i want to say it's kind of like a low capsule collection and then the rest are from their 016 collection i believe so i'm gonna get into all of these knit bits right now so this first one is this the second track suit that i was uh, talking about before in the video that i was alluding to but this one is really sick just because it has like this black on black feature kind of has like this puff print all along the piece and it goes even over the kangaroo pocket which i really find dope and then it just says you better come back on the front which is really sick i love the type of i love the typography that they chose for this one too just because it really does stand out when you wear it especially as whole tracksuit because when you see the bottoms you'll understand what i'm saying um but yeah just great weight to this hoodie overall got this in a large i believe i always go very oversized with my tracksuits or my sweatsuits whatever you may refer to them as but as i was talking about before the bottoms of this tracksuit really like seal the deal when you wear the whole fit so yeah don't come back at all all along the whole piece crazy puff print like i was talking about before kind of see how it's raised right here like all around here i really really cool details all over print the whole whole piece this is a great airport fit need to do some traveling so i could wear this thing head to toe and just get ultra cozy with it so really love this sweatsuit I'm gonna be wearing this a whole lot throughout the holiday season let's get to the rest of the pieces this one is probably the craziest piece from the most recent collection this vest ever since this piece was teased everyone was tripping out because it's like it looks like there's a pocket over the seam of the jacket. So like just that pattern alone is just so dope to me. I don't know who thought of this, but it's just so, so sick. So as I said, has this like front pocket over the jacket, over the vest. Well, I need to get, I need to get a little hanger so that you guys can see what I'm referring to a bit better. So let's see if I can hang it here so that I can see so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you see it has this pocket right here, but then you Let's see if I can actually zoom in on that. You kind of get that, right? So then when you rip off the Velcro, then you're able to see how the vest actually splits into two. And then you can see that inside there's like this gridded uh, ripstop-esque material for the lining of the vest. And then you zip it all the way back up. Then you could just close it like it was regularly. It has this like rubberized logo on the front. Good pull tab. Uh, also, like I said, this is like a hidden little stash pocket. So you can put whatever you want in the front there. Your camera or whatever it may have you. And then we zoom back out. You can see the full piece. You can cinch it in at the bottom too, which I really enjoy. Make it a bit more cropped and boxy. I believe I got this in a medium just so that's a bit more form fitting to my figure. Good side pockets as well. I have zippers there. And then, yeah. 
just plain on the back. So yeah, this is a great layering piece. I don't have too many vests, but all the vests that I do are always super unique. Like I have this one, I have this Spencer Badu one. All of them are very tech, uh, tactical and technical. So yeah, just really enjoy cool pattern work and cuts on pieces like this, like a vest. Just cause most of them could be pretty simple and plain, kind of boring, but this is so far from that very interesting and worth the price point for sure. This is like cut and sewn, made, made in LA. So yeah, this is just like elevation at its finest when it comes to streetwear garments. So I was really blown away by this piece. Good like pistachio green color too. So we want <laughs> on to the next piece. So this one right here is this linen shirt. I really like this just cause you could kind of see like a nice uh, vacation-y vibe to it. It's kind of like a summer shirt, but has a bit of a heavier weight. So you could wear these this shirt on like a summer night or even like in the spring. Uh, really excited to wear this type of shirt. Or you could wear it kind of like a shacket if you wanted to put this layered over like a t-shirt or a long sleeve in the winter. You could do that as well just cause of the weight of the linen. Love the pockets all throughout it and one of the coolest details is this like little embroidery on the back kind of just shows you like this tassel it's kind of like religious a bit so yeah super sick love the um the old english sw right there and the cross just like a really cool off-sided detail on the back kind of doesn't scream out too too much because the front is so plain and then have that nice little detail on the back cool little touch but yeah really enjoyed this piece very like if you know you know so i always like pieces like that and we'll get into the last one last one is probably probably the piece that everyone was the most excited for uh including myself this is a japanese wax denim that they did super sick just because it's not too too shiny or glittery uh it's like the perfect amount of sheen i would say uh has this glossy black back patch right here you guys can see that really dope and then as i said it's a waxed denim all throughout kind of mimics a leather pant as i was referring to before with the other leather pants that i was showing but this is all denim with a wax coating so it gives that different texture kind of makes it a bit more sleek and i sized up on these to make them a bit more oversized and baggy but that was just a per personal preference uh for these you could see how it also has this like paneled lettering so there's the W on this leg, and then there's the S on the thigh of the other leg. The SW, really cool, like small little details. Like you don't get it at first glance, but like if you look at it at a certain angle, you'll be able to see it, which I really love. It's such a great pant, really enjoy these. Blew it out of the water with this one, like especially like smallest little details, like the rivets of St. Woods right there on it. Button, St. Woods there, like every detail was covered with these. So I got these in a 34, they're made in LA. Like I said before, I believe, they're made in LA. It says made in USA, but from what I remember, they do make their garments out in Los Angeles and it has the SW on the back pocket once again. So these are super, super, super sick. Definitely check them out. Check out St. Woods. Check out every single brand in this video because everyone is putting out nothing but heat all 2022 moving into 2023. So now that we got all of that out of the way, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It's probably the largest low-key streetwear brands you guys should know about or check out rather video that I've ever done. So give yourselves a round of applause for watching that one. I'm sure it's a lengthy one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys' favorite piece was from the whole video and what some of your favorite streetwear brands are in the current moment and what you would love to see on the next episode of this series uh, or video of this series, whatever you want to call it. Thank you to every one of these brands that have uh, sent me items for this video to get showcased or even just like PR, anything, the homies, everything. I'm just really appreciative of all the clothes that I always get sent. It makes my my life easier making content for you guys showing you guys what other people are creating and producing out there and then also just like with my clients like with styling and everything like having all these new cycle of clothing coming in helps out in so many different angles so you guys always get the, the end result of that by having these type of videos with the streetwear brands you should know about videos and i hope you enjoy them so because they're really like they're crazy to film like if you guys see my room sometimes after like accumulating all of these brands it's nuts it's madness but it makes for very entertaining content. So I always enjoy editing these and like putting them out for you guys to enjoy. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. Make sure to like it if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E. -E. It's where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. Uh, also with the rest of my social media platforms, those will be linked in the description box 
below. Check out the Whatnot Live if it hasn't happened already. That'll be linked in the description box as well, as long, along with all the brands that I talked about in this video. See you guys on the next one. Peace.